Hey guys, welcome back. Steve here again for another video. Um, I already got this stuff mixed up. I might as well keep mixing it up while I'm talking to you guys so it doesn't kick off on me. I'm using a different product here today. It's, uh, this is a deep casting uh, epoxy. So you can go, you can pour this stuff up to four inches, guys. Uh, I've actually used it <clears throat> on a coffee table of mine in my living room and it worked really well. Um, so I had a bit left over from a job, so I've been just using it on this other job that I'm doing over here. So basically what I'm going to do with these guys, I'm looking to turn these into clocks is what I'm trying to do. So basically what I did the first time, just poured it in thinking it would fill up, but it didn't obviously um, because the wood was soaking it up. So I just let it dry, <clears throat> re-sanded it. So basically we're just here right now, just trying to fill it up again and uh, we'll see what happens here. And hopefully it's just clear epoxy for now. Um, I just want to get this filled. Hopefully it fills up and it doesn't flow out other places. Would be my hope. So I used quite a bit yesterday. It soaked in quite a bit yesterday. A lot more than I was anticipating. So I was like, okay, this is enough of that. Oh, perfect. Perfect. It's all holding. Um, there's another crack here. So what I'll do is, yeah, let's do that. Take her hole first, and then I'll come back. There's a couple more over here. This one here is kind of bad. Oh my God, who listens to this music? I know. Oh, not sure. Too fast, see, trying to rush, getting too excited. I'm gonna have to mix up some more, don't I think? Oh, watch it. Uh, there we go, let's go, let's go. Fill it up. I'm gonna have to mix up my thing. Fill it down. Oh, dang it, see that? Oh, God. I'm gonna make myself mix more. I got enough to fill it, it'd be beauty if I did. There we go, that's just about full. Now I'm gonna put another coat over everything here again as well, guys. So this is basically just to fill these gaps up, make it one. And you can already see what it's gonna turn out like if you look close enough into where I'm pouring where the epoxy is on the wood there with the blue. I think it's gonna be nice. This is gonna be a clock. All right, so I'll do the same principle as last time, I guess. Um, I just need something clean. Oh my god. Let me just take a rag here. All right. So all I kind of do is just kind of take the excess there and just force it back into the hole. So I'm gonna sand all this down again. May have to mix up some more by the looks of it, but that's okay too. I'm just glad it's filling up. You see, there's holes in there, eh? Make sure that doesn't pop. Get out of here. Get out of here, little hair. Let's clean that off. Get lots on this one. And I empty over here, so that's nice. I got that screw in the way to hold it down flat. Um, so when you do put the epoxy in, it doesn't start swimming on you in epoxy. I've made that mistake already once. Definitely gonna need another. Dang it. All right. Okay, let me spread this out then. Okay, I'm gonna have to mix up some more. So I'll quickly take over here. No, so I'll take this one. This one and this one. 
Now this product is uh, two to one guys. So make sure you guys are watching the videos. These are different products and this one is a two to one. So it's one part that, one part B. And then it's gonna be two parts A. So I need to get this to the three ounce mark. All right, three ounce. Careful, 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 careful. There we go. I love when a plan works out. All right, we're gonna give this a stir. Oh, I forgot about my Pokemon figures. I was gonna give them another dip too. Maybe I will, it wouldn't take that much epoxy. Mix, 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 mix. As soon as you got a mix, make sure you mix some more. Let's get down here. Let's do this real quick here. Sit these down, slay them flat. Couple keychains I'm making, guys. Just um, the Pokemon Tommy toys is what they are. I applied one coat yesterday. I put a bit of hot glue keychain. So I'll just dip it down there, just give it another coat, right? Can't hurt. Get it back over here. And even these guys, if you leave it under the plastic and just let it drip, sometimes it makes a cool effect at the end as well when you got different colors. And then you pop the epoxy off the plastic. You could potentially do a project with that as well. I've been thinking about that as well. No, you has no you have no ways to read them. It's gonna drip for a bit. So you can't really wait with this epoxy because it will kick off in a condensed form. Um, saying that, that means in a cup it's gonna kick off faster than if it was spread out. So while dealing with this stuff, you do wanna move as quick as you can, but not so quick where you're rushing around and making mistakes. Steps still have to be done. And the epoxy can get quite messy. I should move my drill. There we go, Pikachu. Gotta collect them all. All right, bring it back up here. Let's have another peek. Big hole here that I forgot to do. Go, nice and slow. Over here, got a hole I gotta do. Oh my God, if I gotta mix up some more, I'm gonna be so upset. That little Pokemon bit was a little bonus video for you guys here today. Hey, and if you're interested, I can chip. Get contact with me, email, whatever. PayPal. Oh, uh, these are actually going to be clocks. I don't know if I mentioned it uh, before, but that is the plan. We'll see turns out like that or not but by the way things are going now seems to be soaking back down there again son of a gun so this is probably going to be an ongoing thing i might have to do this again one more time make sure you do this stuff with the deep cast though guys so it doesn't split on you guys you try it with the regular stuff or the uh, other product that only goes up to a quarter inch so this stuff, like I said, goes to four inches. We got a little bit of excess there, so let's see if we can move that over to that. And I just give everything a nice little shine. Why not? You need to sand it all again anyway. And make sure you do it this way. You don't have any bulk um, epoxy because if you do, then you're gonna sand that off, and that's not fun either. And yes, I've done it. Live and learn. Make your mistakes, but just learn from them. See 
that center right there around that screw, that's where it's going to puddle. So I'll just keep an eye on that. That's some nice beauty. I like it. I like it, I like it, I like it, man. Look here around that screw because it's usually my low point. And then it fills up in puddles. And I'm gonna have to add some more to this as well. I might be leaking this mold. I just done the mold with duct tape guys, it's really nothing fancy. You call me the red green of epoxy. Um for anybody that is international, I guess. I don't know who Red Green is. He had a TV show and he fixed everything with duct tape. And that was Red Green. Everything I fixed with duct tape. Duct tape could fix anything. Everything from a car to a kitchen sink. But very funny, very, very funny. Okay, so that's done. Get your brush back into the dinner. Fire up your torch. Your torch always moving. Don't let your torch rest there. Bubbles. 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 Why don't you come out of that? I don't know why that fogginess won't come out of that one. There we go. Um, they seem to run off these Pikachu things pretty good, so I don't need to put heat to those. They just, I just let them run off, let them dry, and then the little runs at the bottom, I'll nick those off when the epoxy's all dry. Um, so that's it for this episode, guys. Um, tune back in for coat number three, I guess, when I go to actually finish these clocks off, hopefully. All goes well. And these Pikachu things should be done here soon, too. All right, guys, have a great day.